Okay, so this is my bike with the DM02 motor that I modified. I've got like 500 kilometers on it now. Fortunately, something has finally gone wrong with the motor because it's not functioning anymore and it's making some quite alarming noises. I'm going to assume that it's the nylon gear that I finally, finally knackered it. But uh, it, it's done pretty good to get 500 kilometers with the power that I've been pushing through this which has been up to two and a half kilowatts is, is pretty impressive. Uh, I think I pushed it up to, to three at one point. And uh, I, I mean, I've, I've been I've been trying to be reasonably careful with it. I haven't been trying to kill it, uh, but eventually uh, I was going up a hill and I had it on full throttle and uh, yeah, something went. So I'm gonna open this up and we can see what's going on. I'm also taking some time to get this bike ready for winter riding. Uh, I've got stood tires on this one uh, and I'm going to be switching on also my DMO2 motor which is just the stock because I've been promising everybody I'll try the latest configuration of that because supposedly it's got it um, quite a bit closer to the photon uh, in terms of the torque sensor feel so uh, I'm really interested to try that anyway I'm going to take this all off the bike and we can see inside of this motor so everything here with the reduction gear looks fine. I wasn't really expecting to find another pair, but I thought I'd have a look at the quality of the grease and how much was left and everything. Uh, and it still looks to be fine. There's plenty of grease still all in the around of this gear. Uh, doesn't really need to re-grease or anything. Uh, but then it shouldn't really. It's, it's only done 500 kilometers, albeit um, 500 quite hard kilometers. So this is the motor off the bike. And uh, if I zoom in here, you can quite clearly see where it's stripped away the nylon gear in actually two places. So on, on either side of the gear there, it's it's removed the teeth. Um, when people say these melt, what really happens is, is the teeth get destroyed um, more than actually melted into a, to a pile of goo. But anyway, uh, the, the teeth there are definitely gone. Uh, this is not going to work again. So I'll get that replaced. Um, I have actually, I didn't spend all the morning just messing around with this. I did also get the 27DMO to stock mode bag on the bike. So I'm going to get that flash with the latest firmware. And then I'll get out for a ride. And I'm hoping to use this for sort of my low powered winter stuff. Because I've got it kitted out already with uh, stood tyres front and rear so we'll see how that goes um not not once it gets sort of really snowy but at least till sort of minus minus two minus four kind of temperatures all right so that's that video um so it lasted 500 kilometers with the modifications with the back 855 and the hv upgrade stuff so that was being run at 2.5 up to three kilowatts for a little bit and it did pretty good for such a tiny little motor that's so cheap it, it did well and i like the way that i just took this apart and figured this problem out with with four four screws so replacing that it, it's not a difficult job to do um if i was to modify this uh, i'd like to see this made out of um, peak and potentially i don't know if it's possible to have because you're kind of limited in the size of the gears you can have, no matter what material it's made out of, or sorry, the teeth of the gears, you're kind of limited in the amount of material that you can have for the teeth, because this is a smaller gear than I think you would find in the uh, the BBS HD, for example. It's, it's a much bigger nylon gear. So if there's a way to get those teeth done differently, um, we'd have to see, because that would then mean doing this differently as well. But... Yeah, if, if this part here, if this could be beefed up and this gear again could be beefed up and it still, you know, keep the same kind of reduction thing going on, then uh, it, it'd do a lot better under the high power. And also uh, having rid of the controller from here um, it is a huge help because the controller is not really ducting heat out very well. Um, so that there are some people now I've heard doing some modifications to, to better heat transfer the, the controller. Uh, I want to see how it goes stop first before uh, I mess around with it with it again to try and get any better performance. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes and uh, 
I will show you all, uh, hopefully in a video. I know I've been crap at putting videos and stuff up recently, but um, yeah, it, it, it is what it is. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.